You may have seen our trusty Thule chariot trailer travelling around the world with us. It's been to France and Canada, and behind our trusty Brompton Sea Line. On one of those videos, we got asked if it would connect to a P line. This video is in three parts. Part one, the problem. Part two, the solution. Part three, a long ride. If you get bored, just skip to the end. So, we thought we'd try it out and take it for a test ride. It is a small lake near Troyes in the centre of France. We are going to start and finish here. And the cycle lane goes all the way around the outside. My P-line rear wheel is attached using a bolt through axle here. I need to connect this adapter to enable me to pull my Thule chariot trailer along. The problem is that my bolt through axle is currently not long enough to enable me to put this on. I'm going to spin the bike round so you can get a better look at the connector side. The P-line bolt through axle is simply undone using a 5mm Allen key. We have made a video on removing your rear wheel before, so we're not going to go into detail on it. The connector should go on here, but by the time I have the thickness of the connector, I can't get my axle nut on. It's just no thread left. Thule do a through axle mount kit. This one. However, the problem is that the axle is actually too long. So by the time you put the axle through and the adapter in place, you actually don't have any thread to thread the end on. You can see we've been playing with too many different axle connections because I need some touch-up paint. In future, to try and minimise any paint loss on my rear triangle, I'm going to try this washer between my rear triangle and my adapter. We'll let you know how we get on in a future video. We found a skewer from Hope, which is an acceptable length. This one, it is a road skewer. And the best thing is, it comes in a choice of colours. So I have gone for a nice shiny orange one to match my favourite orange bicycle. It is simply a case of putting the skewer through, putting the adapter in place, attaching the nut. As you can see, the thread is still too long, but it is acceptable. The other great thing is I've now got a quick release skewer so it's even quicker to change my puncture when I have one. And now I'm going to get out and ride. We're going to start here. for a nice long hour and a half ride and it rode perfectly. I had no problems with the trailer at all and it was up and down-ish. Um, so I'd certainly take it out again. If you like this video about a Brompton P-Line, a Thule chariot trailer, three skewers and an adapter, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. In this video we're going to show you how to attach your Thule chariot again. 
You may have seen our chariot travelling around the world. We took it to Outtech. It's not long enough to attach the connector. Full stop. Thul, do an axle adapter kit. Thul, do a through axle mount kit. Mount kit. <laughs> we found an axle from Hope that is the perfect from Hope, which is the perfect length. We found an axle from Hope. This one. It is simply a case of pushing the skewer through, putting the adapter in place. Full. Do an axle adapter kit. Thank you.